In our Ignite the Truth Bible reading program, we're reading in the book of Corinthians right now. Some of the most amazingly beautiful passages of Scripture are found in Corinthians. And of course, probably the most beloved of all time is 1 Corinthians 13, commonly called the love chapter. I can't tell you how many weddings I have been to over the years where this passage is used as part of the ceremony. An absolute wonderful depiction of love. As I was reading it, one scripture stood out to me, and that's the 13th verse where it says, Now abide faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. And the thought process that went through my mind is, I wonder what the Apostle Paul thought about these concepts. You know, as Christians, we view Paul and we think of him as a Christian, but I think he probably would have been pretty amazed that we think that. Let's look at Philippians chapter 3, verse 5. This is Paul describing himself, and he says, Circumcised on the eighth day, of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee. Imagine, Paul was a Pharisee. Paul identified himself as a Jewish man of the tribe of Benjamin. In fact, he said, I'm a Hebrew of the Hebrews. I'm more Hebrew than the other Hebrews. Paul identified himself as Jewish. Now, it also says in the scripture that he studied at the feet of Gamaliel. Gamaliel was known as a sage. In Jewish history, he is known as a member of the Sanhedrin, which was the leading, the 70 group of 70 men who uh, governed over the, the state of Israel in areas of religious law. He was known as a legal expert. He was a Torah sage, and Paul studied under him. So Paul knew the Torah very, very well. Now, it's been my uh, privilege really, living in Israel, to be able to study with some rabbis and also with those who know biblical Hebrew and understand the Bible very well. And one of the things that they do when they're looking at a topic is they look for the first time it's mentioned in the Bible, and then they look for other occasions when this phrase or word or this certain way of looking at things is found again, and they compare them. Because you see, God is a God of patterns, and He repeats His, His word in various ways throughout His Scripture. So I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to go back and look at these three concepts, faith, hope, and love in the Bible that Paul read and see what it has to do with the first time it was mentioned. So we're going to do three more videos. I hope you join us for Faith, Hope, and Love. Thank you and God bless you from Jerusalem.